just after a little bit of help, if anybody can help me, it's been quite frustrating because the I've asked the question, this question on, um, you know, American Galena sites and everything, and no one seems to be able to help, no one seems to be bothered to sort of help, if you know what I mean, I don't know why. Never mind, you know, I'm trying to help this bloke, he's contacted me from the Alice Chalmers Owners Club UK, and he just want he's bought a, a later type gleaner a it's got the it's got the late we had the later type uh unloading auger belt on it which none of my comrades have none of my comrades have that one so i don't know what the size of the belt is the belt is available in america but we don't really you know it's obviously the cost of bringing it over and everything we want to try and, if we can try and find the the correct dimensions then i can just broadcast that onto the the alice chalmers the Essendine Gleaner Group, so people can see it and locate it, and they know what to buy if they need it. So they just there, the information's there, so they can just go and get it uh, without having to actually order the official Alice Chalmers belt, which is just a nightmare in this country because in America the the Gleaner Heritage belts are available under Agco AG uh, Alice Gleaner Corporation. They still produce a lot of the belts. Um, but here we go. This is the book that it's in. Um, Super A, that's the square back A. This is what um, 3262. That's the obviously the serial number that these ones come in. Uh, they're this type, this square back. So, and we got that's a picture of the early type, but this gives two. So, number three, this gives two mentions so this is the bin and loader drive serial number 4188 so you know that's a good few hundred uh, just a uh, just under a thousand models in and they all had that they all had that longer drive belt um yeah so that's the part number uh 1129986 the america the Gleaner Heritage Belt is the same number, but with a 7 in front of it. So if you type that in, it would come up, but it can't. I've looked, and I can't seem to find anywhere where it gives you the dimensions, so you could take the dimensions to the counter in this country to a bearing or a belt trader here and just buy it over the counter. Um, but like I say, you can't, without dimensions, you can't. The bloke's measured it with a string, and it's 3,500 3, millimetres long, but the exact profile and everything, I don't know. So I, I don't, I wanna, if I'm going to give him the information, I want to try and make sure it's the right information. If anybody can help, please help. You know, please just have a look at the belt and see if you can see what it is because it'd be a great help. I, I mean, I want to do what I can to help people, but it sort of goes both ways. You know, I can, I can only give people the information that I've got, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, um, please help. Thank you. Bye.